Hello guys, how's it going? So today I'm basically just going to give you guys a tutorial on how to actually get a ton of these layer bank points. So currently layer bank is doing like a points thing similar to how JTO and like Jupiter have done on Solana, but this is on, um, on Manta Pacific. And as you can see, here you go, here are all the, the point details. These are currently my point details, but I'm gonna show you guys a farm on how to actually get a ton of these points in, as it will be farming these things, our interacting points, and it's super easy. I made a thread on this earlier on my Twitter, so if you guys wanna get like all that information like before I actually make a video on it, follow my Twitter, it will be in the description, but we'll just go into it right now in video format so it's like kind of nicer than the twitter thread at least for me i like the videos better so let's get right into it so first you want to go to bank and you're obviously you're going to want funds on manta so if you don't already do that just don't already have some just bridge some over real quick you could use orbit or jumper portal bridge whatever so what you're gonna what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want at least one of these assets the reason uh layer bank is so popular is actually because of um that new paradigm bridge and how you actually got stone so if you use the um the new paradigm network bridge you got stone right and when you bridge your eth you got stone and with that stone you're actually able to put that into layer bank you're able to supply it and as you can see I have some supplied right here. As you can see, this is my amount supplied. And this is how we're going to actually be farming our interacting points. So what we're going to do is, as you can see, I currently have 0 0.025 stone borrowed, right? And the way you do this is you just put in an amount here to borrow. So we're just going to say, just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to just put 0 0.001 to borrow, right? And your fee for this is roughly i think yeah it looks like gui excuse me gui went up went up a bit i think it was oh it's only at 13 gui oh eth eth kind of tanked today too shit um so right here what we're gonna do is we're first gonna borrow and what i recommend you do for your borrowing is do your like highest amount you're gonna borrow with so you'll see what i mean here and the reason we do this is because the fee to actually borrow is slightly higher than the fee to repay so we're first gonna do this borrow and let uh this transaction go and all the <laughs> i think i figured this i don't know someone definitely uh, figured this out before me but I didn't see anything on Twitter or anything so I just posted a thread on it and hopefully these interacting points are even used but we'll see all right so now we have as you can see we just staked more stone and now we repay it so the the whole point of this is we're basically gonna repay in like super small amounts right um, so I'm just gonna repay like a t fraction see and as you can see my fee is lower for repaying that's why we want to farm all the repay transactions and not like all the borrowing because then you'll have to you'll have to spend more money on fees and who the hell wants to do that you know what i mean all right and and the reason we do this oh i didn't even tell you the the like the whole thing about it is right here so they actually upped it before it was 50 points per supply borrow or repay but now it's actually 200 points so it's actually nuts so like i said these are these interacting points and as you can see here my supply and borrow points are really low but my interacting points are through the roof because of that so you don't even need high volume for this you just got to keep farming transactions basically and let's actually see i don't know how many transactions i've done on this but the fees are really 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 low on um on manta at least for for doing so it's i've done 521 interactions and that's most likely just because of layer bank yeah as you can see virtually almost all my fees are from layer bank 
And right there, I've over I've had over 411 interactions and my fee's only $8. So this is super, super cheap. And like, look at these other DEXs, only nine total interactions, fee's already higher than that. So like the layer bank, it's easy. It's really easy to do. It's really quick, if, especially if you have like good internet and you have it all set up. But as you can see here, these interacting points do or for this, wait, did they change it? Okay, so it looks like for this one, they currently, for the Manta uh, leaderboard, I noticed this before, but they don't have the interacting points um, counting to to towards your total points accrued. But for the Stone slash USD M1, they do. Because you can see I have 15,000 supply points. I don't even know how. Oh wait, no, I know how. That's from the stone. But and then I have my interacting points here, which is a majority of the total points I have. And then here's obviously my rank after that. But they do take a snapshot every six hours, uh, is what they say in here. Yeah, every six hours they have a snapshot. And they currently have a coming soon page for their lay bank uh airdrop for this whole point system. So Definitely do it quick if I were you. They also have, I think, a 2x boosting event until the 31st, so the end of this month. So you still got like another, another like nine days until then. So I would farm this out if I were you. The fees are really low. Like I said, it, I just showed you like how little in fees I actually spent. And I don't think that's entirely accurate because I did start with 75 USD on here and now I'm on 53, but I also have farmed upwards of, what is that, like 80,000 points in interacting points. So that just goes to show. So it's like 80,000 points for like $20 worth of fees. Yeah, that's that's like really cheap per per point. I'm stupid. What is it? Yeah, it's like that amount of money per point. <laughs> so that <laughs> this is the amount of money you spend per point uh, farming on the layer bank. I don't know if this is uh, if they're gonna fully take these interacting points, and it looks like they do for this leaderboard. So that's currently why I am farming, and and yeah, um, I'm definitely not getting up to 1.2 billion points. I I could tell you that much, but. Um, my goal is uh, probably going to be around top 10,000 for like both of these leaderboards. So yeah, and uh, that's pretty much it for the layer bank farming guide. Um, yeah, that's it, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.